Good morning everybody, welcome to Monday the 15th of November and today's assembly is all about anti-bullying week because this week is anti-bullying week not just here at Summerswood but across the whole country and the theme this year is one kind word so let's get started first question for you is what do you think bullying is? I want you in your classes to pause the recording here and have a chat about what you think bullying is. Pause here and have a chat. I wonder what you came up with. We're going to move on to my next screen which shows you some of the different kinds of things that you may have spoken about. You might have spoken about things that are just rude, because it can happen. People can be really rude. They could say something, they don't really mean to hurt your feelings, and it doesn't happen very often. That is being rude. It happens once, it's hurtful, and it's unintentional. Then we move on to people being mean, where actually they're trying to say something unkind. It is hurtful, but it's still just a one-off. It's not something that happens again and again, but they were choosing to be mean. And then we come on to bullying and you'll see some of the same words that we've seen before. We've got the word intentional, which means they meant to do it. Hurtful, they were trying to be unkind, but this time it happens more than once, even if you've asked them to stop or when you show them that you're upset. Bullying is something that happens again and again. And it's something that really upsets everyone. And at Summerswood, we want to make sure that no one in our school is being bullied and that nobody is being a bully. So I've been thinking about how you would feel if you heard people saying unkind words. How would that make you feel? Now would be a, another good time to pause the recording and have a chat about how you would feel about people saying unkind words. I've been thinking about how I would feel and I'd feel really upset that people were saying unkind things and I'd be wondering why. What is it about me that's making people say those things? So upset, unhappy, unkind. Those are a few of the words that I can think of. I wonder what you came up with in your conversations. I asked the teachers on Friday to tell me some kind words that they've he heard recently and how that made them feel. So I'm going to tell you about a few of them now. There were many more that I had, but I've chosen these three. I spoke to Mrs Walker, who works just in the office next to mine. Hi, Mrs Walker. And she mentioned that quite a while ago, a staff member gave her a piece of paper that says, you're a star. And it made her feel really happy. In fact, it now sits in her top drawer in her office. So every time she opens that drawer, she sees that little message. And each time she sees it, she has that little feeling of joy inside her. That's a really lovely, lovely thing to think about. Thank you, Mrs. Walker, for sharing that. Mrs. Paraskeva sent me a message telling me that children in her class, so children in high, have told her that they love being part of the class. Now, in her message, she told me that made her feel really warm inside because she tries really hard to make every day in high fun, every day in her class fun, and engaging where the children are learning. And for children to say to her that they love being there made her feel really warm and happy. Thank you, Mrs. Perisky, for sharing that with us. And then Mrs. Norman. Mrs. Norman um, told me about a little girl who's in year one. Um, I'll tell you her name in a minute, but she said to Mrs. Norman one day, Thank you for keeping our school beautiful. 
Now, Mrs Norman was so pleased to hear this that every time she sees this little girl walk through the door, she has a really big smile on her face, thinking about that time that this little girl told her, thank you for keeping our school beautiful. So thank you, Karina, in year one. You make Mrs Norman smile. So when you come through the gates in the morning, be sure to give her a big smile and a big thumbs up because your words made her feel really happy. So let's take a little bit of time for us to think about the difference in how we might feel between those unkind words that we just spoke about and now how it might feel to hear really kind words. You're doing an excellent job. Well done. Thank you. All of those little words make me feel really positive. I wonder how it makes you feel. You might want to pause here and have that same conversation, but this time about how do hearing kind words make you feel. Sometimes hearing kind words can make you feel a bit embarrassed, but generally kind words are what we want to hear. So just before we finish, I want you to close your eyes for a moment and think about what it is that you're going to do this week, next week, and every week moving forward to make sure that our school is a school filled with happiness, with kindness. What are you going to do the next time somebody perhaps says something unkind to you? What are you going to do next time you might want to say something without thinking? I can't wait to hear all of the kind words that we're going to hear this week. We're going to be doing some work on anti-bullying in your classrooms. So please be sure to think about all the opportunities you have to say kind words, because bullying at our school is not okay. And when we do see things like this, we have good conversations with those children to make it really clear that the behaviors they're showing us, the unkindness that we're seeing, could be considered bullying and what would happen next. I would much rather be having conversations with children celebrating all of the kind words that they're saying. I wonder how many kind words you can say this week. Have a great week, everybody. I look forward to hearing all sorts of positive words during anti-bullying week. Have a lovely week.